Moving on now, heart disease, certainly the leading cause of death in men and women. So in our house call today, we're talking about your heart health, starting with what could be kind of a warning sign, an irregular heartbeat. Dr. Will Kamnitz is a cardiologist at Cone Health Medical Group Heart Care. Good morning. Good morning. So a regular heartbeat, are, are we likely to feel that? Will we know if it happens? So there are certainly signs that you're having an irregular heartbeat. An irregular heartbeat essentially um, can come from either the top or the bottom chambers of the heart. Okay. And the signs and symptoms are um, palpitations or a fluttering in the chest. Mm -hmm. People can get short of breath. It can cause chest pain or even cause people to feel like they're going to pass out or pass out. Yeah. So we will notice something like that. Could it, could it just be, ha and, and what's the danger when, it, it, the heart's a pretty complicated thing going on there. When something's irregular, what, is, what happens? So there are a few different things that it can cause. Um, there are some irregular heartbeats that just make you feel bad. Um, uh, funny feelings in your chest and the shortness of breath. There are some though that do put people at risk of having pretty major complications. There's a, a rhythm abnormality called atrial fibrillation and that puts people at risk of having strokes. Mm -hmm. um, there are certain other rhythm abnormalities that can be life-threatening and so there are certainly things to look into um, with that. What's the most common way to treat something like that? Um, so there are uh, medications that we can use to mm -hmm. treat. Um, if people do have atrial fibrillation, then we put people on blood thinners to prevent strokes from happening. Okay. Um, along with medications, there are procedures that we can do as well, if that's indicated, um, to further treat uh, the rhythm abnormality if medicines aren't working mm -hmm. or if people have side effects from medications. I, I think that, and you correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the procedures to treat have become much more common, a lot easier to do over the years than what they used to be. Certainly, there's a whole lot of technology that's gone into making these procedures um, as efficient and um, uh, long-lasting as they can. Um, they're, uh, the, the procedures are safe um, for the most part, um, and, and so they're, um, they're, they're a good alternative to medications. Mm -hmm. So it, again, the thing that we should be looking for as far as a, a symptom or something like that, we, we often hear that men and women feel things differently. The, the, the flutter though or something like that, is that, is that pretty common? Yeah, so a lot of people feel the fluttering, the fast heartbeats, mm -hmm. um, although some people they don't have any symptoms at all whatsoever. Okay. So it's really varied as far as symptoms go. Um, but if you do have symptoms, you can talk to your doctor and they can refer you to one of the cardiologists at Cone Heart mm -hmm. um, or one of the heart rhythm uh, specialists as well. And this is something that would normally be picked up on a routine EKG or something like that? It certainly can be, um, but a routine EKG can look totally normal and oh, people okay. can pre still be predisposed to these abnormal rhythms. So it's helpful to, um, if you have these symptoms, there are different ways of making sure or, ch or catching these rhythms, either with prolonged monitoring um, is, is the most common. Okay, doctor, thank you very much. Great advice, and again, it affects a lot of people. You want to find out more Cone Health Heart and Vascular Care? offers a variety of resources. Find out more by going to conehealth.com slash heart, or you can find support if you or a loved one has heart disease. These are cardiac family support groups and heart boost support groups. Find out more by going to this website, conehealth.com slash classes. When you get there, just search heart. House Call on Fox 8 is sponsored by Cone Health.